Another idea that came to me while putting this kind of paradiddle lesson together is that a paradiddle can be an interesting way to get into odd time signatures. Um, so I came up with this little sticking pattern um, that ends up being in 7-4. So what does 7-4 mean? Well, 7-4 means that you have seven quarter notes in one measure and then you restart the phrase. Um, so instead of having four beats or six beats or eight beats, we're going to have seven beats. So that's an odd meter, um, but there's really nothing challenging about it other than the fact that the vast majority of Western music is in four. Um, but really, you can think of it as adding on to a four measure or not quite making the eight. So it kind of has this cyclical turnaround thing. So the sticking for this is a paradiddle um, plus six other strokes. So really what you get is 14 sixteenth notes. I will put the exact sticking up on the screen so that you can see it. So what I'm playing with my hands right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And then I'm just adding six alternating singles. So right, left, right, left, right, left. The key is where the accents end up in this phrase. So I'm accenting the two with my left hand and I'm accenting the ah of three. 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E. So once again, I'm accenting the 2 and the ah of 3. So that sounds like this. Okay. And you notice that sometimes on that last left hand, which would be the E of four, I'm using a drag uh, instead, which just turns the E into a 32nd note. So instead of going, I'm going, and that last stroke is the turnaround, that's the one. So if you add the bass drum to this, you can just start by putting it on one and three, and then you can fill in anywhere else on any of those right hands that you're playing. Um, so that sounds like this. If you zoom out and count that, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So just like that, uh, you are playing in seven. It's really fun to just try to play around in this space and start to feel the seven so that you don't have to rely on playing these strict patterns, but instead you can kind of play around in that space and fill the space and return to the one. The key in the beginning is that you really accent that one. And certainly if you're playing with other people that are not drummers or are not um, highly rhythmic players, you're going to want to really make sure that one is strong so that nobody gets lost in the beat. Let's, let's try to just play around and improvise with this seven feel. I'll start by playing the pattern and then I'll kind of expand and uh, see where that goes. <laughs> 